Hi everyone, uh, this is Satish Sholi, Civil Engineering Department, VSM Nippani. Today we are going to see regarding in permanent hardness. So in that, first method we are going to see with lime soda process. So as we have stated or we have seen in the, you have seen in my earlier videos itself. So permanent hardness is very much hard to remove. It contains non-carbonate hardness like uh, nitrates, chlorides and all and sulfates and all. It is very much hard to remove. So we are adding here in lime and soda ash over here by adding that what happens here is there is a chemical reaction taking place with uh, calcium and magnesium salt it is been precipitated uh, with uh, calcium carbonates and magnesium carbonate you can see in that sedimentation tank itself again you can see this following reactions over here so next uh, what it does again it does uh, when when you add in lime it it removes entirely the carbonate hardness itself okay and the reactions with uh, non carbonate of magnesium is being converted into non carbonate of calcium and this non carbonate of calcium can be removed by soda itself you can see with respect to the above reactions again when the lime uh, uh, when the lime is added what it does it it helps to remove free dissolved carbon dioxide you can see over this one when the lime is been added over here again it what it does uh, uh, there is a precip uh, uh, there is a removal of um, uh, the calcium hardness then uh, uh, there is an extent of free water okay is been done over there you can see in this above reactions itself again again what happens the sodium salt which are finally formed in the above method are soluble in water so those are sodium salts are soluble in water and they doesn't provide uh, what it does it doesn't give any objectionable order and all or objectionable type okay so as a result you can use this for an softening process itself again in uh, this method what we can see is uh, calcium carbonates and magnesium carbonates which are formed uh, get precipitated and settled down in sedimentation tank itself you can see in this above reactions over here okay what is the advantage of uh, lime soda process? So advantage of lime soda process is it's an economical one. First thing. Second thing you, you can use in uh, the common treatment process. No need of uh, extending your treatment or doubling up your treatment. Okay. So cost wise it is very much cheap. You can add with the coagulants. Okay. And uh, the quantity of coagulant that to be uh, Putted in that treatment units will be quite less over there because this lime will also help to remove uh, the impurities over there. You can uh, and here when you add uh, sodium uh, lime soda pro in the in the this one treatment units and all, what it does it uh, it uh, increases the pH value so that and uh, by increasing the pH value what will happen there is the corrosion of pipe which is being taking place with respect to acidic in nature will be quite reduced over there. Another one, it will help in uh, killing the bacteria as, as there is a rise in pH. Okay, so rise in pH alkalinity towards uh, the pathogen bacteria cannot bear it. This treatment also will help you to reduce in uh, minerals and all which is present in water. And it also help you in removing of iron and magnesium from the water itself. Okay, so this was all about the lime soda process. Stay tuned for my next video because this next video is regarding again with respect to permanent hardness in that we are going to see zetolite process itself or you can say this is a zetolite process or you can say a base action process or in cast exchange uh, cation exchange process itself okay please stay tuned to my next video because I cannot continue uh, this one because uh, it is taking more time and all so I can't cover it in a single stretch of time okay so stay tuned for my next video itself so thank you thank you very much be safe stay home